Hey, this is Dr. White. Today I'm gonna go take a look at a 1971 trainer. Okay, it's got reverb tremolo and this guy had it and unfortunately he passed away and his brother's selling it. Could have Phillips branded Muller tubes in it. Yeah! Okay, so I mean, you know, it's a head in a cabinet. It's been in supposedly mint condition sitting in a house since the 70s. Yeah, it's like got two EL34s or six CA7s, I should say. Uh, I did see a picture of those tubes and they look like they're Mullards. So that would be awesome. Anyway, plus trainers are great, man. Everybody loves those amps. They're sleeper amps and this amp is in the middle of nowhere, man. Like Menifee, California, you know. I don't, I've never been there. So, all right, so hey, this is Dr. White, the Tone Guru, baby. So let's go take a look at it. White. Okay, so here we are. This is the trainer amp, the YSR1 from 1971. Look at this thing. It's been sitting in a house for since the 70s. Now it belonged to a guy, what was his name? Um, Stephen Ray Hummel. <laughs> a rocker from the past. He left this great amplifier. He played out with it, I heard, and then after a while, he got tired of that, you know. Sat at home and played this in his house. There it is. I mean, here it is. Sounds great. So, you know, great tremolo, great reverb. So, anyway, these amps were made, I think, from 1971 to 1973. up a little bit sounds really good and you know people like them people are starting to use these again because they think wow these were made in Canada just as good as a Marshall or a Fender but nobody knows about them anyway that's the story the trainer amp, I'm getting this today and I'm going to take it home and use it in my studio and it's going to be awesome. Alright, this is Dr. White signing out. Bye-bye. Yeah.